Hey, it's Charlie, and today I'm going to use Genesis Alukit to build a smartphone holiday card. And in this case, it's going to be Merry Christmas from Charlie. And I'm going to uh, take my first function, play YouTube video, because I want my Christmas card to be a multimedia card. So I'm going to find my YouTube video that I want to attached to the QR code that's going to be rendered and printed and, on, and put on the back of the card. So I'm going to take my Catalina Island Trip video and include that with this smartphone app QR code. I'm going to type in my label here. And typically this application would be used to connect to the contact center. And for example, walk into a Best Buy and you were in need of help buying a TV set so you'd see a QR code on the front of it so you'd scan the QR code and you'd be able to push a button to get help buying the uh, TV set or you could ask questions about whether or not installation was included and they had free delivery or maybe they would push a coupon to you based upon knowing that you scanned the code so I'm just going to fill in uh, some information here about uh, my Twitter handle and my Facebook handle so people can contact me via Twitter and Facebook. And then next I'm going to show my photos and I think what I'm going to do is include my South Africa trip photos. I went on photo safari there during my last business trip and I'm going to uh, include these photos in there, share that URL. So the idea again is to uh, print out a QR code and then just put it like a picture on the back of the card. So I can have my normal pictures on the front of the card and a QR code on the back or just send a QR code via email and it could be an interactive Christmas card. So I'm going to take another video here just to fill out my my menu buttons. Right now I can put seven buttons on my menu. And these are all going to be functions again rendered to the smartphone and a look at is set up right now so that you could use a shopping app like Red Laser to scan it. It'll take you to an HTML menu instead of a native app menu, which isn't as rich, but it'll allow you to uh, carry on without downloading it. So now I've generated the QR code, and I'm going to use my Pick2 Shop generic shopping app. I'm going to scan it with that. And I scan the screen a little bit off the screen there, but uh, click on the but on the uh, link, and you can see that all those buttons I just generated are now on my HTML menu. They're my porpoises, and I can click on my Twitter handle. And again, this could be red laser, could be any general purpose QR code scanning application. And you can see it took it up to the cloud and I built the menu on the cloud. There are my Safari pictures. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to run the native app now called the Lukit, which you can download from the Apple App Store. I'm going to scan the code again, and this time it's going to render a native app menu. First, it's going to map it on the map, which we don't really care about because we're not in a retail environment here. Um, and I'm going to click on my porpoises again. And these are now built in uh, buttons on a native app instead of HTML. So I could do things like make a phone call. 
And once it's in Alucat, of course, you can use all the other Alucat functions, uh, like share with your friends and use all the social media capabilities within Alucat. The last thing I'm going to do is um, show that you can copy and paste this QR code anywhere you want. You can print it. My wife built a QR code using Genesis Alucat, and she's going to print it out and paste it to the back of our holiday card. That's all I've got today. Thanks for listening.